What's up everybody? This is Abdullah Shamari. We're gonna talk about Snapchat Inc. or ticker symbol SNAP. Let's do it. Make sure to subscribe to my page, crush the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and check out my Patreon link below. You'll get insights into my watch list, my portfolio, my daily readings, as well as instant posts as I'm buying and selling each and every day. Today we'll be talking about Snapchat Inc. It's a well-known company that all of us use for our various day-to-day -day social media interactions with friends, family, colleagues, etc. It's a well-known company. It's been around for a few years. It IPO'd a few years back. It's done really well over the past few years, especially after the COVID-19 pandemic where the market went down severely. The traders went down all the way to about eight to nine dollars a share and currently trading at $61 a share. So we'll be talking about the company overall. We'll talk about their leadership. And then finally, we'll go over their financial statements. And then finally, give my recommendation as well as what positions I have in the company. Most of us know Snapchat as the application where we take photos and we share those photos with our friends or colleagues as well as our loved ones. However, Snapchat has become more than that. They're trying to get into the augmented reality space, into the virtual reality space, etc. We can see here from their website that they're selling now this product called Spectacles. Even looking at their mission statement, we can see where they say Snap Inc. is a camera company. And it's not saying it's just an app. It's not just one social media tool that people use. However, it's become more of a camera company and bringing different experiences into reality where you're able to share it with those that are closest to you, even though they might be further away from you physically. So as a result, the company is going to continue to expand in these different areas, whether it's, you know, creating more filters and lenses for their apps, the spectacles that they're selling currently for $300 piece. In addition, the company is expanding its advertising space and with all of these additional offerings that they're providing to consumers, it's just increasing its base, people using the app itself, whether it's sharing different day-to-day -day things that they're doing with friends and family, whatever it may be, the experience has become more real and as a result, more people are using the application, which then turns into more advertising revenue for the company. Next, we wanna go through the company's leadership. The company has, as we would wanna see, two co-founders that are still in the leadership team. They have skin in the game. They've been there since the beginning. We've seen many success stories similar to this, such as with the Facebooks of the world, the Googles, the Amazons, Apple, Microsoft, where the co-founders stay on for a long period of time and they continue to drive the business and they succeed. And Evan Spiegel and Robert Murphy are another two examples of individuals who took Snap from the very beginnings to what it is currently and continue to drive success at the company. Besides the two co-founders, the company has seasoned executives from various different conglomerates and companies around the world, such as Amazon, such as News Corp, AOL, etc. They're all seasoned veterans. They're correctly staffing their executive and management team with individuals that have the capability to be able to drive the success of the business. They have experienced scaling companies whether it's Amazon or various other companies, they're able to bring those experiences to Snapchat or Snap Inc. and be able to drive the growth of Snap Inc. overall. We can see here that the price target for the company by analysts is $74 a share. We had shared earlier that the company's currently trading at $61 a share. If we look at one year calendar, we can see that it was a little low of 16. If we go further, we can see that it was trading even at $6 a share if we go back to November 2018. And then more recently in March of 2020, it went down to 11. And I think if you go to a daily chart, it even touched below $10 a share within the past year to year and a half. So the company has grown significantly over the past few years due to its ad business and being able to continue to grow sales and be able to reduce the losses that they are, they've incurred. And we'll go here through the financials right now. From a financials perspective, with this type of company, we wanna see increase in revenue year over year. And we see that here. 
824 million in 2017. Then we go to 1.1 billion in 2018, 1.7 billion in 2019, and 2.5 billion in 2020. We're lucky here that they just announced earnings this week. And you all saw the, you can see it on the screen, the price popped 8% due to the earnings and how well they did. So the company is doing well, sales are growing, and that's what you want to see with this type of company. They want to, you want to see them continue growing sales. And we can see that they're doing it at a very high clip profitability. Their gross profit is pretty significant. Currently seems like it's sitting around 60%. Probably wanted to see a little bit higher in the 75% range, but 60% is great as well. From a loss perspective, the company continues to lose money. However, we do see a downtrend in losses. It was originally $0.3 billion dollars a few years ago down to 1 billion and now this year it was just under a billion dollars you want to continue to see them decrease that net loss and i think they will continue to do so as they continue to scale their profitable business and they drive revenues higher you also want to look at how much they're spending on research and development we can see here that almost their like with some of the other companies that we've looked on in this channel is that almost all of their loss is due to the funding of research and development, which is an incredible way to spend capital. And I'm more than happy to take that loss for any company that I own. If I'm spending it on research and development for future products or future technology, so they're doing it the right way. They're investing their capital the right way. So no problem with taking that loss. They continue need to need research and development and funds for it. So they should continue to fund those projects. From a balance sheet perspective, healthy. We see 5 billion in assets, 2 billion in liabilities. They're more than above any current or quick ratios. Quickly look at their cash, about 2.5 billion in cash. And let's see if they have any short term. Current liabilities is, only, is less than a billion dollars. And if we even look at non-current, liabilities 1.9 billion in debt they could literally pay off their debt as well as their current liabilities potentially with the cash that they have as well some of the receivables that they're expected to get so no problem from a liquidity perspective for the company they're in good shape from a cash flow perspective we can see here they're a growing company so they're still using cash for operations but significantly decreasing year over year we start at 700 million a few years ago and we're down to 167 million here and again a lot of its research and development no problem with spending that money on research and development we need to continue to do that so that the business can continue to grow so it can clip that market cap out of 100 billion and potentially go to the 200 300 billion range because this is a profitable business it's going to make a lot of money it's in the ad space it's a pretty profitable sector. And as the com company continues to grow, similar to some other advertising companies like the Googles and the Facebooks of the world, it will also start generating more profits and be able to grow that bottom line and be more profitable. Just sharing my final thoughts on Snap, I think they're a great company. They will continue to grow. They're still an early stage advertising company compared to some of the more mature companies that we see out there like the Googles of the world. As a result, they'll continue to grow. There's a lot of space to grow from a market cap perspective. Currently tra trading under 100 billion market cap. We could very well see that go to 200 to 300 billion as the, com as the company continues to grow and scale. As a result, this is a company that I've invested in. As a result, this is a company that I I've invested in since it was trading at $20 a share. So currently sitting on a two to 300% increase in the price of the stock. So I'm going to continue to hold my shares and potentially buy even more shares in order to realize some of those potential gains that I see that the company will have as it continues to scale its business, it continues to grow its revenue, it reduces its net loss and also increases potentially the cash that's coming from operations. These are all healthy signs of a growing business and you wanna make sure that you're part of the gains as well. Make sure to do your own due diligence on the company and let me know your thoughts. As always, make money, enjoy life, peace.